Performing both hydro dissection and hydro delineation in FACO and soft cataract can have three major advantages and this is what I would like to highlight in this particular video. So the capsular rexis is completed though it's slightly eccentric. Now first, I'm going to perform the cortical cleavage hydro dissection. The cannula is passed underneath the capsular rexis edge, gently lifted up and a gentle but firm pressure of fluid is injected to create the cortical cleavage hydro dissection, following which the hydro delineation procedure is completed. The first advantage is that the hydro delineation will clearly outline the endonucleus which means that you do not have to carry the FACO probe beyond this extent of the clearly demarcated and clearly defined endonucleus. This will of course reduce the risk of having a posterior capsular rent, especially because you don't have to carry the FACO probe to the periphery. Now this is advantage number one. So knowing the extent and clearly defined edges of the endonucleus will enable you to perform either a stop and chop maneuver or a direct chop maneuver staying well within the confines of the external extent of the endonucleus substance. The second major advantage is that during the fake wave emulsification in softer cataracts it is possible to have cheese wiring and therefore the thick epinucleus shell will create a protective barrier and therefore protect the posterior capsule from damage. Now you see that the thick epinucleus shell that is left behind is quite difficult to remove and this is the third advantage in that when you combine the cortical cleavage hydro dissection, you will now have an epinucleus that is freely rotating and a freely rotating epinucleus will be much easier to remove because it will be mobile and get easily aspirated into the FACO probe. Now these are the three major advantages of performing combined cortical cleavage hydro dissection and hydro delineation while performing FACO in softer cataracts. Hydro delineation may not be possible in harder grades of cataract, especially cataract grades of three and above. In addition to this, there is a fourth distinct advantage in that a good cortical cleavage hydro dissection will enable you to remove the cortex adequately and very little cortical strands are left behind at the end of the FACO procedure. Therefore, cortical aspiration also is much safer and easier to perform. At the end of this, you have completed the soft cataract FACO emulsification, which in many hands can be really challenging to perform because of the cheese wiring and because of the fact that these lenses tend to form craters. Finally, the IOL is implanted and that marks the end of a successful case. I thank you for your attention.